Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bike Talk with Bike Lane. This is Bike Checks with Ed. I'm Ed, and this is the 2021 Giant Revolt 2. So, if you guys haven't seen a Revolt, this is a road bike, flower slash mountain bike, flower slash kind of do it all bike. Um, so, this guy's an endurance style mountain road bike. Um, so, it's a full aluminum frame. It's Alex Aluminum, 6000 series aluminum, with an aluminum fork that's wrapped in carbon, so it's a rigid fork, no suspension on here. And uh, it keeps the bike really light, but still strong. Um, Giant gives you, we're gonna go back up to the cockpit here. Giant gives you a 440 millimeter wide drop bar, which is a very wide bar. Um, the wider the handlebar, the more bike control you have. So the wider the bar, the easier your bike is gonna maneuver around rough roads, around loose dirt, all that good stuff. On the hoods here, you have a Shimano Sora nine-speed STI shifters. On those shifters, you have 160 mil rotors with a mechanical disc brake. A mechanical disc brake is a very strong brake. It's not as strong as a hydraulic brake. A hydraulic brake is gonna give you a consistent feel where a mechanical brake is gonna over time stretch. Your cables are gonna stretch out, so they might need to be adjusted. Um, but on here, you get the, the Tektro MDC's 550s, which is a very nice brake. You have dual pistons, they both move at the same time, so you get a nice firm grip on here. Giant gives you double wall aluminum rims. Um, these rims are the Giant SX2. Um, loose ball bearing hubs, but they do give you a 12 mil through axle front and back. So that's a huge plus on here. Um, so this bike can really take some abuse. The through axles are not only gonna make your bike a little more rigid, um, but it's less likely for them to ever bend or break or anything like that. To protect your rims, Giant gives you the Giant Crosscut AT2 tires. Um, these guys are tubeless. They don't give you any flat protection. There's no, uh, no Kevlar inside the tires, but they are 75 PSI tires. Um, so on this type of bike, you have an option of running them in low pressure or high pressure, depending on the conditions that you're riding in. Um, so if you're gonna be riding mostly in the street, you can pump these guys up to full pressure so you get less rolling resistance. Uh, they are knobby tires, so when you ride in low pressure, they kind of spread out a little bit and they'll give you a lot more traction when you're riding on loose dirt or gravel or any of that good stuff. These guys are 700 by 38 C. Excuse me, but the company does give you plenty of space on the fork and on the frame, so if you ever wanna upgrade your tires to something a little thicker, you can. Go into the back. So, on the back, same tire, same rim. You got the same mechanical disc brake with the 160 mil rotor. Um, you do have now the nine speed drivetrain on here. So it's a Sora component, Sora is about mid-level. Um, so it's decent, not anything high end, not anything too basic either. So on the back you have a 1134 cassette. The spread is a pretty big spread. So an 11 tooth is gonna be your hardest cog. So if you really wanna get some speed going, you drop it into the smallest one. And it's gonna be really hard to pedal at first, but in the long run you can maintain your momentum. The 34 up top is gonna give you plenty of kind of give and torque. So if you needed to climb some hills, if you needed to go over some obstacles, you can put it on there and that's your granny gear. In the front, you got FSA crank. It's a square tapered aluminum crank. It's aluminum chain rings, and the chain rings are 3448, which is a really big jump. So if you wanted to go really fast, you can use your 48. So if you drop it to 11 and you drop it to your 48, that's gonna be your top speed. That's really if you're hustling. And if you really wanted to climb, you can drop it on your granny gear, which is gonna be the smallest in the front, and then you can drop it to one of the middle grannies in the back, and it's gonna be really soft for you to make it over your obstacles. So you only have two chain rings up front, and for those two chain rings, you have another Sora derailleur, and that's Blake. The crank arms on here are actually 172.5, which is a really nice, unique size, so the crank arms will make it easier for you to have a quicker rotation, give you plenty of torque on the high end. Giant up top gives you a defuse seat post. Defuse seat post is round in the front, and it's flat in the back. So the defuse seat post just gives your bike a little more rigidity. Um, so your seat post also can never pivot. So that's definitely a big plus coming from Giant. Good job, Giant. Giant's on here gives you, I always forget the saddle, the Giant Approach Uniclip saddle. 
Um, so this guy is a foam saddle. Still has padding in it, so it's a pretty firm seat, but it's still gonna be semi-comfortable. Uh, it's 140 millimeters wide and 270 millimeters long. So uh, for riding long distance, this is gonna give you the, the best arrow feel. If you're kind of a heavier set person and you don't really stand up on your saddle too much, it might be a good investment to uh, upgrade your seat. What am I missing on here? And that would be it. Um, so overall, the bike is a, an endurance bike. It's an endurance kind of like hybrid mountain bike style. So this is your bike that you can use for long distance road riding, light off-road, loose gravel, dirt, any of that good stuff. If you guys have any questions, you can check out my channel. You can call the store anytime. And uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you, guys.